Hey, Bill. I just wanted to pray for you really quick. I hope you're doing well. Um, I love you, brother. Uh, I have friends praying for you. And uh, you're just on top of the priority list for prayer for several people, so... I hope you find uh, that comforting and encouraging. Uh, I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, as I read in Ezekiel 10 and 11 about the heavenly temple where God dwells, uh, just the scenery there, uh, just crazy to think about. Like, all the description is describing, you know, that place uh, the best way imaginable in, in, in words like sapphires and lights and talking about the cherubim and, and different things in different ways. And you start realizing very quickly that the, the glory of God is radiating and uh, it is beautiful. It is everything that God would want it to be that would praise His name and glorify Him. And uh, it talks about a throne being there and looking upon that throne and just the beauty and magnificence. But uh, as I read that the other day, here's a part that I want to share with you is the thought that when you go to Corinthians it talks about our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit a temple and if he modeled the temple or our body after his temple then our bodies and our minds and what we should use our bodies for is supposed to be radiating his glory just like what Ezekiel was seeing that uh, that our mind should be focusing on him and uh, that our bodies sh and uh, what we say what we do uh, should not be anything less than worship uh, people should look like good grief that guy has God just radiating from him like everything about him and uh, I don't know that just that struck me uh, thinking about that so uh, I encourage you as as you're walking through uh, the path that you are to remember that uh, no matter what you're fighting for against uh, God has made us uh, a temple and the Holy Spirit and He has uh, given us a body to do His mission and what He wants of us. Uh, just be joyful in that. Um, love you, Bill. I hope that encourages your heart. I want to pray for you now. Uh, Lord God, thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your promise to never leave us. God, uh, I pray that we find importance in you and just what you're doing, Lord. Uh, help that to be the first and foremost thing in our mind. Everything gospel centered, everything completely about your grace and about what you've done what Jesus has done on a cross and how he rose again and uh, how he's king that help Bill to uh, always remember that renew his spirit every day renew uh, the thoughts of his salvation and the joys of his salvation to him so that he would remember how great you are and how uh, you're to be served. Lord, uh, 
his family the same. God, uh, I just pray for them. I, I want nothing but your glory to shine through and, and your will to be that of, uh, that he would be healed and his family would see great works through it. Lord, uh, we don't know, uh, being on this earth and being of limited, uh, capacity, uh, God, we don't know what you're going toward, we don't know your decision, your will, what you have to do with Bill here, but we do, we do pray, Lord, that you, uh, he'll do what's best to glorify you. And we're praying that, that would be to heal Bill in a miraculous way. So uh, do that. I trust you will. And even with uh, with Bill uh, and I not seeing each other very much or not even really knowing each other that well, uh, I just thank you for the opportunity to pray for him. And every day as I sit down and I pray for him, and I, I try to... Uh, um, petition for him and intercede for him Lord uh, I just pray that you would use it to build uh, us both up and people that may see the videos or not see the videos but uh, God just just crush his heart to be more in love with you God, uh, you're amazing, Lord. We want to be holy like you are. We want to be more like you. And, uh, that's what we pray for. That our minds might think of things that glorify you. That our thoughts and our, uh, words and our actions... Show your name uh, is great, and that you're great, and that there's nothing better. So, uh, just show us more and more every day about you, about your Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.